What's up everyone, it's Matt Merzik, aka MVM397, and this will be work in progress 10, and also the last work in progress on my quarter scale Punisher versus The Walking Dead before I'm all done. So I finished the uh, last major step this morning, which was the zombies. Um, my previous work in progress I did showed me doing all the pastel work, pastel, or I didn't use pastel, sorry, uh, pigment work to bring in all the sh uh, shadows and stuff. And then uh, this morning I painted all the bloody parts and gloss coated those and painted the teeth and the gums and all that stuff so um, he's looking really good so and I painted the Punisher logo and so all that's left are a bunch of just little things I gotta I gotta work on the boots they're too clean so I'm gonna go in there and probably put some blood on the boots um, I'm still debating whether or not to do like a blood splatter on him I really like the way he looks and I'm afraid to kind of mess him up so I may just weather him a little bit and then um, go from there. I'm going to weather his chest a little bit, like the his, uh, the Punisher uh, face skull on his on his chest is too clean. I'm going to go in there with some maybe yellow um, uh, pastels or chalk or whatever. I have to clean up the, I'll, I'll come in closer and I have to clean up Lucille. I did the blood last night on her and it looks really good. Um, I'll explain how I did that. But, um, and I've also decided that I'm going to leave the base bloody. Um, once I got the, the zombies on there, I really like the way it contrasts against them. I'm afraid if I go in there and paint stone, I'll lose the zombies. And um, I think it looks good. I'm, the, what, what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and paint this area around the Punisher logo. Um, I, just, I just may do it. Um, I may do that like in a stone treatment. I don't know. That way this this spot pops out. But the rest of it, I like it the way it is. Um, so yeah, the zombies look really, really cool. I'm so happy with how they turned out. So um, they were a lot of work, a lot more work than I anticipated, but um, really awesome. So in my previous video, I kind of showed you how I went in and I highlighted the veins and did all that um, uh, different MIG pigments and stuff uh, to just bring out some of the, bring out all the detail. And there's blues, there's purples, there's reds, lots of, just a different bunch of uh, rainbow colors. Um, and um, hold on, I'm going to pull this guy forward just a little bit because he's hitting my paint rack in the back. There we go. There we go, I can turn him. Um, but just really, really good. <laughs> and um, I initially had thought about, what's going on there? I got something on the head here. I'm not sure if that is shiny. I don't know. Anyway, um, I thought about going back and hitting all the bloody areas again with the, the tongue, but I just left it the way it is with all the highlighting and stuff I did. And when I, when I go in to start spraying my, my blood colors, it actually, all the different highlighting and dry brushing I did really helped. It gave it a bunch of definition. So I just left it as is and sprayed my different colored uh, clear reds over here. I did the, the exposed elbow and some white and aged bone and then sprayed some red around that for the blood. I'll come in closer. This guy's face is looking really good. And of course you got this guy who's getting his face completely blown off. I hand painted the, the eyes of the white red, the eyes, the white of the eyes white first before I did this and I just sprayed it all clear red. It's not showing up too much in camera but you can see kind of some uh, the white of the eyes. And I may go back and hit the pupils with something darker but um just really really happy with those how those turn out so let's come in and close on the zombies since that's really what's new on this step and let's see lighting is hard right now uh so this is kind of harsh lighting but we'll see if it shows up but uh i can um let me see i may take them apart and show you the zombies no i'll just leave them apart and just kind of go around and explain and um, let's see, let's look at this guy's face. Looking really good. Painted the eye patch. Uh, I kind of did that same leather treatment, but I did want kind of like a yellow, kind of aged look. I didn't, I didn't want it to look like the same color as what the Punisher had on. Painted the eye, just kind of made it look dead. Uh, looks good. Painted the teeth real loosely with uh, aged bone from Garage Kits US. And I just I went in with the airbrush real tight and did all the little wounds and everything with the different blood and gore set. Um, and the very last step was I gloss coated all the bloody spots. Um, but looking really sick. I mean, this looks really good in person. I am so stoked. 
with how it looks. The zombies look amazing in my opinion. I think they look, I don't know, they look better than all the brown ones I've seen. <laughs> so I just, uh, I think they look really cool. Um, yeah, so my, like my major decision now is, do I do some sort of blood splatter on the Punisher? Um, I don't know. Um, I may do some, I don't know, I, I really like to think about it. I, I'm really kind of tossed in my head. I really like the way he looks. I'm a, I really don't want to mess up what I got going on. Um, I could technically do him in watercolor and it should be easy to clean up, but since everything's in dull coat, it may not be as easy to clean up as I think. So, um, I don't know. Come in a little bit. But, yeah, he's looking good. And I don't even put the glamour head on anymore because this guy looks just so, so mean. <laughs> I'm going to work on the eyes of the glamour head. I'm probably going to try to make a little stand or something for him so I can display him next to it. But this this is the head that needs to go on there, not the other one. Um, let's see, my lighting's a little harsh here, but just looking really good. And I'll, I'll get Lucille off of his arm and go in close and kind of explain what I did there. But I'm like 95% there. I need to do the boots are really the next, I guess, major step would be to go in there. I, I think I'm gonna, um, like I said, do some blood. I may do some, um, just some light pigment, you know, weathering on him or dry brushing. Um, what I don't want to do is I don't want to want it to blend into the um, his clothes. So I got to be real careful with what I do. Maybe I pick a different color. Maybe I do like a red to kind of maybe simulate some dry blood and. Maybe I brush on some blood or something like that. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. So um, let me get Lucille off. And so what I did here, let's see if it focuses on her. Let me, uh, let me move him out of the way without knocking him over. There we go. And then if I come over here, it should focus on her on Lucille. So this thing was wrapped in a bunch of barbed wire and stuff. So what I did is I went in and I hand painted all the, all the barbed wire with steel. And then I went in real loosely with uh, the garage kit's colors tongue and painted like all the bloody areas. And I just put one, I just went real heavy on the blood. I wanted this thing to look really gnarly. And I think I've, I think I succeeded with that. The only thing step left is I need to go in here and where I've got the bloody overspray. I'm going to blend in some of the wood grain. So I'm going to go back and hand paint some of the wood grain in just so it doesn't look like it's been, you know, brushed to uh, spray too much, but um, that's it. And then this hand, I got to spray it, re redo the skin tones since I forgot to mask that, but she's looking really gnarly. Like she just beat the crap out of someone and that's exactly what I was going for. So yeah, happy with that. She looks good. Um, yeah. So really, really stoked about this in general. Man, he's he's freaking heavy. He's just a monster of a piece. Um, and then I may do something with their hair. I don't know. Their hair's just one solid color right now. Maybe I'll go in there and do a very very light brush, dry brush. I don't know. It's he's very um, you know this is not a re realistic representation. He's very uh, comic looking. So maybe just leave the black hair solid. Um, you know, with the natural room light, it kind of looks highlighted anyway. So maybe I just leave it alone. So I think my, my, what, my, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna do the boots, get those kind of knocked out. I'm gonna do a little light weathering on his chest here um, with some, maybe some yellows very lightly, just to kind of look like he's been dirtied up a little bit. Um, and then what's after that? Gotta do the, I got like 10 little things I gotta do to him and he's done. So yeah, really cool. Really happy with how he turned out. So um, I probably won't, I'll do one more video once once he's completely done. But I'll do final photos and everything. So uh, you know I should have him done in the next week, um, which would be awesome. And then I'll get back to the Yagdaga <laughs> that I that I put on the side because I got uh, obsessed with this kit. But yeah, so uh, let me know what you think. Uh, this is Matt Morozik, AKA MVM three nine seven, signing off. Catch you guys next time.